Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 294. Today we have the SP Mixer. It is two boxes each of uh, SP Game Used, SPX, and SP Authentic. Uh, then there's some Series 1, Series 2, and Extended in there. So one hobby box of Series 1 and Series 2, and two of Extended. Good overall fun little mixer here. Got some Young Gun shots, got some Future Watch Auto shots, got some like random cool hits from SPX and SP Game Used. I'd love to pull like a UD Black, one of the like lustrous patch uh autos from spx that'd be kind of cool so yeah without further ado three times on the names three times on the teams who you line up with is who you get here we go let's press the right button there we go make sure i didn't mute myself by accident on that i'll move my mic over and three times once twice third time teams three times once twice third time islanders on bottom yotes on the top all right good luck everyone uh emil you've got the yotes riley with the vegas gold knights marshall with the red wings uh jeffrey with the bruins uh robert with the hurricanes christopher with the uh panthers jason with the stars Mikhail with the uh, Flyers, Edward with the Devils, Graham with the Penguins, Dan with the Flames and Rangers. So good little, you know, good team and bad team there. Bill with the Avalanche, Marshall with Chicago, uh, Chris with the Wild, Lance with the Canucks, Alexander with the Habs and Jets, Emil with the Kings, Martha with the Predators, Nelson with the Sabres, Andrew with the Oilers, Nelson with the Sharks, Jagannip, we've got the Ducks, wrong year for the Ducks, Lance for the Leafs, Marshall with the Lightning, Daniel the blues jean francois with the senators photos with the capitals kevin with the blue jackets and robert with the islanders there you go oh vegas isn't bad right you got vegas vegas is actually in this mix pretty okay they're not bad they're i would like if i were putting them in like a team tier they'd be in the top 10 Yeah, you got Krebs and you've just got general volume. Like you they're one of the better teams in SP Authentic. They're they've got young gun chances. They've got stuff in extended. They've got stuff in every product. So like and like they're Are they the best team? No. Are they the worst team? Heck no. They're definitely above middle of the pack. If we hit another crab future watch auto, I will like be happy because like he's a solid one, but also that's kind of weird that we have them. Uh, you've got Nashville, um, Ingram, really, that's about it. Nashville is one of the weaker teams. You got, like, some Colt Smith stuff, um, nothing major, but Ingram, Ingram's solid. All right, here we go. Like, again, there's a lot of teams that, like, Boston, I'd say, is weaker in this, but if you hit with Boston, you're probably going to hit something pretty big, right? Yeah, exactly. He's a non-feature auto. 
and Nashville's kind of one of those like dark horse teams that because they're a lesser known team, they can have the like value future watches. Uh, I didn't bring out the boxes. I can't take the input on screen. I don't know why I'm ripping series one first. I'm sure it's extended first, but. Oh well. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Let's pull some cool stuff. Yeah, predators are good. Good here. Come on, twenty-two. Oh, these are stuck together. I forgot this could be an issue. All right, that's a little bit better. These are all stacked together. It's going to be a fun uh, rip and stack because it's going to be a lot of bending and unbending. I just realized I don't have a base card box set up. Uh, no, I do. Never mind. All right. And it's four boxes. That should be, yeah, that's fine. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Starting off, we've got a Matthews Phillips on the canvas. Uh, we've got a coat for the abs on the Young Guns. Couture for the Sharks on the Portraits. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight for Dominant of Stone for Vegas. That's a good sign, is it not? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good sign for the Rangers. Lafreniere on the Young Guns for the Rangers. Nice one there. Kind of creeping back up in value again. Laugh for the Rangers. Base, base, base. Dazzlers of Marner for the Leafs. O'Reilly for the Blues on the portraits. Ovechkin on a worldwide for the Capitals. French coming up here. Yep. Bristol Lining for the Sabres on the French. These are all sticky together. McLeod for the Oilers on the Young Guns. Solid one there. Actually, pretty good Young Guns in the Laugh Crop. McLeod and uh, Coat are both decent this year for the Devils. Like, are they the best? No. They're good. Uh, for Dom, uh, Passion for the Bruins, I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Right, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, not missing anything. Felt like I did, but I didn't. Right. Easiest ways to tell them back. Next up,
All right, here we go. Push up for the stars. Two, three, four. Full quest for Chicago. Five, six, seven, eight. Have to roll Grim for the Leafs on the rookie portraits. Two, three. Bellows for the Islanders on the Young Guns. Um, there's Lickens for the Blue Jackets on the Rookie Retrospectives. Clear cut of Besser for the Canucks. Yeah, clear cut base, not bad. Rare hit. Predominant of Bishop for the Stars. Canvas of Deneau for the Hats. Two, three, four, five, six. Broberg for the Oilers. On the pile on canvas. Two, three, four, five, six. Eight, dry saddle for the Oilers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ghost for the Penguins. And, oh, clear cut exclusives of Miles Wood for the Devils. These are insanely rare to get. Like, legitimately probably numbered to like 10 or less, maybe even like five or less. Not the biggest name player, but hey, good box one. Good box one here. All right, let's do let's do extended next. Wait, Miles Wood just fell off the video. Uh, six, eight, seven, zero on the box ones. So it sounds like Calgary offered eight years at ten point five million per. We go in the next box. Box one, like really good stuff, honestly. A good young gun, some actually a couple good young guns, and a clear cut exclusives. Uh, yeah, no, the ducks are like four or five years out. One, two, three, four. No one flipped for the devils. Four, five, six. Mitchell for Chicago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Base pack. Four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to the connect. I'm just going to check the back of these, make sure nothing's stuck, but pretty sure that was a base pack. Yeah, that was a base pack. There are definitely no variations. Seven Drew O'Connor for the Penguins. Nick Michael for the Capitals on the retro. I mean, I'm just being realistic. They're probably four or five years out. But yeah, if they made the playoffs, it'd be a shock. They're not trying to make the playoffs either. Handmark for the Sharks. Dry Settle for the Oilers on the Holographics. And the sparkler of the night. <laughs> Will Glander for the Canucks. Five, six, seven. Barzell for the Islanders. Eight. Godden for the Flames. Like, I think they will if they do it properly and in time. TVR for the Capitals. No exclusives. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Man, I don't think the Canucks could have asked for a better situation though than Gaudreau going to a team that was not in the hunt to land a J.K. Miller. All right. Lot for the Senators. That's a player whose value I think might go up over the next little bit. Man, check that's a really smashed in corner for the Capitals. Fish off for Vegas. Like that one's really dinged up. Uh, Kalia for the Kings. Okay, and for the Avs. Five, six, seven. Ransky for the Blue Jackets. Five, six, seven, eight. Clear cut of Ian Cole for the Wild. Slaughter for the Yotes. Not a significant number on that. Chimalowski for the Sharks. Solid young gun, I would say. Taylor Hall for the Sabres. Patterson for the Canucks. Ty Smith for the Devils. Nice, nice. Next box of extended. That box was mm, not great. 
I'm just gonna actually preemptively sleep and pop all the vantage check just because the corner's so bad that actually gonna disrupt the balance of the cards and it might straighten out in the second top loader a little bit but in case you're wondering why it sleeps in top load that is why Uh, one zero zero six. Yeah, Zach Jones should do well as well. Again, as always, with prospects, it can just take opportunity that they may never get, and that might be the difference between them not breaking out. Um, injuries, stuff like that. But... Oh, weird. Oh, that's a high numbered Crosby card coming up. I believe. Uh, Oreo for the Penguins. The Oreo, sorry. McDavid for the Oilers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. None of those are variations. Five, six, seven, eight. That's just the base back then. Check for the flames, same as last time. For the Rainco, for the Rangers. Frozen prospects of Robertson for the Leafs to a thousand. Hayden Verbeek for the Habs and a rookie class of Keandre Miller for the Rangers. Two, three, four, Keandre Miller for the Rangers. Five, six, Eichel for the Sabres. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Kachuk for the Senators. One, two, Maltsa for the Devils. I would be shocked to see him get more of a role with the Avs this year. Here we go. I think these are 25. Yep, numbered 23 of 25, Sidney Crosby on the ultimate victory gold. Hey, not every day you get a Crosby out of 25. Cool parallel. Honestly, don't know what the value is. But you can't go wrong with a Crosby out of 25. Nice one there for the Penguins. Oh, well, like, I didn't. Someone can bring like nice cards.
I do not miss opening up these packs. Dazzlers of Calcut for the Lightning. Stamkos for the Bolts to two nine nine nine. Pepo Niemi for the Panthers on the Young Guns. Hellebuck for the Jets. Miller for the Rangers. Lennox for the Blue Jackets. Larkin for the Red Wings. Four, five, six. French variation of Stall for the Wild. Strand for the Kings. Five, six. Byram on the Retro Young Guns. Nice one there. Ooh, Ryan Strom to the Ducks on a five-year deal. What's the AV on that? Does not say the terms. Huh. Was not expecting that, to be honest. Five, six, seven, eight. W for the Kings. And search them for the Oats. So, a couple of decent boxes of extended. I mean, Crosby out of 25 is pretty good, so. Uh, I'm not watching anything. I just got to beat up for, um, like, notifications and stuff. The Pope Lender trade request is a fake account, though, so. I trust people that I follow to not repeat that stuff. Apparently, that is. Case. My favorite part is like when there's an unexpected signing, all the insiders rushing to be like five year deal for this player, which is just repeating what the team has said. So All right, here we go. So reminder, program of excellence goes to uh, the team that they are currently playing for in most games played for Kubelik League for Chicago on the exclusives. 100. Uh, Hagel for Chicago on the youngins, not bad. Uh, I like the, I like it. Uh, nice Dazzlers of Tavares for Lease and Byron for the as from a perspective of just a pure player standpoint, like I like uh, Mikheyev. I think the deal's a little bit on the rich side. Um, I also don't think you play him with Kuzmenko. I think you play him in a third line checking role, probably with Horvat. Merchant for the Panthers. And like, you know, offensive third liner, but like good third liner. And also for Chicago, who can play up in. Casey have injuries, which I think is also important. 
No, I shouldn't overlook that. Like, he is a typical Jim Rutherford player. He is fast. He is gritty. The hands might not follow him super well, but Marchment for the Panthers. Like, if you... Do you remember Mason Raymond? Or, like, Michael Grabner, Kershaw for Chicago? Essentially, he is cut from the same cloth as them. Drew Bauer for the Avs, except I'd argue... I don't know. Raymond's probably pretty apt for a comparison. Let's tune off for the Sharks. So, maybe a little bit less offensive skill than Raymond. I can rent it for the Stars. Twenty for Vegas. To move for the Flyers. So, I don't think it's a bad signing. Uh, I mean, so like. I don't know how I do it, but I don't think he'll play quote unquote third line minutes. But he is, if Miller is on this team, he's the third best center if they run him at center. Wait, Strom only signed for five million? Wow. That's actually shocking. But yeah, like, I I think that, like, I love Bill Horvat. I don't want to bet against him. But he is closer to a third line forward that is an excellent power play specialist than he is to a legit, like, 1B slash second line guy that a lot of people have him pegged as. But yeah, like, the Canucks are a weird team, man. I don't think you can get rid of Bo, but, like, I think they should be. Because I think his perceived value is higher than his actual value. And, like, yes, there's value to place on leadership and stuff, but, yeah. I don't know. I think he'd fit well with Mikheyev. Hell luck for the Jets. Clipper Saddle for the Blue Jackets. So, like... You know, I think they're going to trot out Dylan Cousins for the Sabres. Every single time, man, we do, like, single boxes and breaks. Always Cousins. Uh, Francis for the S. Yeah. I think, you know, took off for the Blue Jackets. You run them in a kind of whatever role. Um... You know, you shelter the Besser Miller line a little bit. Uh, Skinner for the Oilers on the retro, and you give PD the tough matchups. Cole Smith for the Predators. Honestly, I I think putting Hoaglander on the fourth line is not. Zucker for the Penguins. I think you should be playing higher up in the lineup, but I think you also get rid of Pearson. Nicola for the Blues. Four, five, six. Zamula for the Flyers. This is probably our French behind it as well. Yep. Stevenson for Vegas. But yeah, like I I I'd, I'd even put Dickinson on the fourth line and Yeah. I don't know. It seems like they're bent on having um, Miller re-signed, so iron for the abs. Like, they just want, that's the end goal that they want right now. A little sugar for the Leafs, and like, fair enough. But. Alright. Um, let's do SP Game Use, then SPX, then SP Authentic. But yeah. Like, there's a lot of interesting line combos. I would say I like PD and Garland and, like, a shooter there. 
Um, I like, honestly, Mikheyev, Horvat, uh, Hoaglander would be a fun line as a kind of third line. And you go like Miller, Besser, someone else, and you go probably, I don't, I don't know, you put Keith Anko on that line. It's tough. Um, well, let's go front to back. Eric Stahl, 135 or 165 for the Sabres. Kiki to 199. Ty Smith, 265 on the Jersey Auto for the Devils. Could have been a sleeve and top look, but uh, not anymore. O'Reilly for the Blues, to 150 on the Relic ones. Mark Shackley for the Jets on the Banners here. And Hashir for the Devils on the All-Star Fabrics. Ty Smith is nice, but like he's kind of gone down a lot. So yeah, I like I'd like PD with um. Ah. I would like PD with like, I don't know, even like Todd Colton and Oaklander could be a fun line. They do need to trade forwards, so. All right, is there a specific order here? Mm, no, this one's kind of weak as well. Belzeal to 299, Delandrea for the Stars to 299. Uh, rookie Auto of Pi Suter for Chicago. Duclair for the Senators for the All Star Skills to 150. This is nice. Uh, Stadium Series Fabrics of Makar for the Abs. This is a rookie year, uh, technically. And TJ Yoshi for the Capitals. So, like, he wore this in his rookie season. But, yeah. SP game use kind of does what it does. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. We got the styrofoam here. I always forget about the styrofoam. Oh, this is box number 44483. Always forget about the styrofoam. Here we go. Try and conceal it from even myself. Here we go. It goes this way. Uh, Gage Quinney for Vegas on the rookie jersey auto. These are all 130 points. I need to hit 130 points out. And if you see something that like normally gets top load and it isn't yet, it's because it will get it done at the end of the break. But here we go. Next up. Ooh, luscious rookie blacks. Uh oh no, luscious rookie jersey black. Matthews for the Leafs, uh 249. Not bad for the Leafs. These are nice. I like these cards. Or sorry, obsidian jerseys black. I wish they brought back uh Brought back black as a, a standalone set. Obsidian rookies of Robertson for the Leafs at three forty nine. This is just it's such a nice looking set. Like the cards just look cool. I don't know. Big fan. Here we go. And Obsidian Rookie Jersey of Hagel for Chicago to $3.99. So, not the worst box, not the best box. It's better rookie auto would have been nice, but like Robertson, Matthews Jersey, Hagel Jersey could do worse.
Here we go. Seven zero seven one. And we're starting off with an obsidian rookie or rookie obsidian jersey black of March End for the Bruins. That is four straight black cards. Next up, it's the rookie jersey. Oh, this could be a patch. No, oh, it's a short print jersey. It honestly might be the patch parallel, but um it's Jersey Robertson for the Leafs to 49 on the rookie Jersey. I thought 49 was supposed to be the patch parallel, but maybe it's just like the spectrum short print. Either way, cool card. Um, there the last can go down. Next up, Giordano jersey for the Flames, not numbered. And last SB, SBX pack. Ovechkin base for the Capitals, two ninety nine. dollars oh. Not bad from two boxes, not bad. All right, we're going with six first. Eight, nine, four, five. Uh, what preds are in this? Ingram. There's some Yoshi stuff. There's some uh, Forsberg stuff, I think. And the uh, Ingram. There might be some Fabro update. Stall on the leaders for the Hurricanes. Why not? Carlson for the Capitals. Olafson for the Sabres. First auto, Zingle for the Hurricanes. Second time we pulled the sign of the times. And it's a group F, I believe. The lowest group, so. Hoaglander for the Canucks at 399 or 399 $9 on the future watch. Sorry, I got a little bit excited there. Like Hoaglander. New uh future watch auto, that's for sure. We'll put that there. Well, we have another auto. Oh, we do! SP Essentials update of Mantha for the Red Wings to 99. Update from 1920. Nice on-card Mantha. Let's put those back there. We'll put the um, Robertson in there. Is there anything else in the card can go there as well? Aho for the Hurricanes. Marner for the Leafs and Kemper for the Oats to 100.
Bounce kick for the stars. Freeze off for the wild. I don't know if we got that one actually in our inner. Jones for the sharks. Giordano for the flames. Boots off for the Senators. Price for the Habs. Zingo for the Hurricanes. Ovechkin for the Capitals. Yeah, that's Stanley Ingram and some other people too. Gets off for the Ducks. And McDavid for the Oilers. All right, final box here. Hope it has something spicy in it. I mean, it'd be pretty hard for the Kraken to do better because you've got a young gun and they don't have one yet. 8684 on the box numbers. Jordan for the Sharks on the celebrated moment. Van Rimzik for the Flyers. Gallagher for the Habs. Oh, there we go. Finally, a big base future walk auto, and it is lap for the Rangers. Finally, we hit one. Love to see a good Lafreniere future walk auto for the New York Rangers. And yeah, you guys were right about box three being loaded. Well, pretty solid little mixer here. Robertson on the 49. Obviously, this is center stage now. Crosby, you can go out of the way. Nice hit. Who had the Rangers again? Dan. There you go, Dan. What's the talking about? Love to see a good future watch auto, though. And Geeky right behind it for the Hurricanes, because why not? Oh, is it ever consistent that it's just autos grouped together? So, hey, good box, SP Authentic. The rest of the box doesn't matter. We hit a big future watch auto. Uh, effects of Geeky. Base card does a somersault. Top star for the Kings. The only way this box gets better is with like an. Acetate Young Gun. 
of like, I mean anyone, but yeah. Pretty good little box here. Juren for the Habs. Klingberg for the Stars. Flat for the Rangers. Wilson for the Capitals. Michael for the Sabres. Uh, overtime packs are if you're shut out. So uh, check for the Flames. Um, I think you hit stuff, but we'll see. Breezy for the Wild. They're predominantly used just for shutouts. We'll see. Fetch for the Hurricanes. Byron for the Avs. Theodore for Vegas. And last pack. Ovechkin for the Capitals. So that is break 294. Um, pretty solid stuff, honestly. Not that I've said anything different about like any of the past like 15 breaks, but yeah, it is a solid break again. Um, just gonna put pace away, then we'll do a little recap of all the hits. So here we go. All right, recap time. Um, that stuff's kind of minor. So some other stuff. Uh, geeky to nine ninety nine. Um, a card. This is technically rookie born, like because it was from the stadium series and it's, um, game used from the twenty twenty stadium series and he was a rookie that year. So kind of cool. Matthews for the Leafs two forty nine on the Obsidian jersey. Some other cool autos. Mantha to ninety nine update for the Red Wings. Um, Zingle sign of the times. Uh, we hit a Miles Wood clear cut exclusives for the Devils and a Laugh Young Gun. Um, fourth best to the break, we're going to go with a Jason Robertson for Jason Nick Robertson, sorry, for the Leafs to 49 on the rookie jersey. Third best hit, we'll go with the Hoaglander Future Watch Auto. Second best hit, Crosby Gold to 25 from Extended. Like, just anytime you get a low number Crosby parallel, pretty cool. But hit of the break, Finally hit our first like big base future watch auto and it's a laugh for the rangers so yeah that wraps things up uh there's still spots left in tomorrow's double up for series two uh outside of that i'll get these videos uploaded probably overnight so uh thanks everyone for coming out i gotta go have some dinner and i will see you tomorrow take care